uh, Janixa Bravo is actually attached and is going to write and direct a series. Um, uh, the, 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 the major thing for me is seeing uh, the Annapurna name uh, uh, embedded here. So um, before we go into um, this project, um, I know that we were talking about Miss America. Had you seen the second to last episode? Um, did you see any signature style elements from Janixa? I believe she did episode nine of Miss America. Yeah, no, I watched the uh, series uh, earlier this year. Um, I mean, I didn't see anything signature particularly from her, but that, but that episode was kind of um, almost a standalone almost. Um, it was a very interesting episode uh, that was very strongly directed. It was one of the, I think one of the better ones of the, I mean, the whole series was good, but it was a very strong episode. I think it's just been interesting to watch her career. Um, as we both know, Zola was a big hit uh, at Sundance and that's on the way from A24 who released a teaser not too long ago. And, She's been in, working in TV a bit, as you mentioned, Mrs. America. She wrote an episode of Little America for Apple TV Plus. But I think with this, um, this project, it's another opportunity for her to break out even more. She, I think it's the, the next step in her career. So um, this project, it, it's quite interesting, the project in itself. Um, there, so, so it's a portrait of a, an author who um, essentially broke out big with his debut novel, but he was going under a pseudonym and um, essentially, and this is, this is a great quote um, that uh, Janixa, uh, Janixa was asked about the project. And um, this is what she says. It's fairly fascinating. Is our it's a trust a untrustworthy protagonist, and um, the series examines white identity and how we, as an audience, participate in making room for this behavior. Um, so let's dig deep into this. Um, based on a New Yorker article on an author who more or less has been uh, padding his career, padding his life, um, and um, essentially being really deceitful on, on who he is. Yeah, so this is based on a suspense, uh, the New Yorker art article, a suspense novelist trail of deceptions, which I think says it all in the title. Um, we have the intriguing casting of uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in the lead role. And just reading the, um, the synopsis and, and that kind of thing, it actually brought to mind, you know, we've seen a few things over the past few years. It brought to mind JT Leroy, perhaps. Uh, brought to mind maybe James Frey, these authors who, who sort of build an enigma around them or build a certain narrative that turns out to be not entirely uh, truthful. Yeah. So it, it's very interesting. I think this is a, a potential story that plays a lot with um, fiction, a lot with the sort of narratives authors build in their stories and also about themselves. So it's very much, you know, it's almost meta in a sense. It's a, it's a series about storytelling itself. So I think, I think for us, particularly for a filmmaker like this, there's a lot of really cool thematic things to dig into. Yeah, I believe that once you plunge into what the series might look like, um, there'll be a lot of second guessing and, and third guessing on what's the truth, what's not the truth. Um, and for those who haven't really explored um, this, this New Yorker article, um, I think, yeah, it'll be much talked about. Uh, so Bravo is gonna co-write uh, the, the pilot and uh, really shepherd this project. And, and you had mentioned Jake. Jake is uh, gonna suit up as this protagonist. And I, 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 I more or less think of the, the, the character he plays in Nightcrawler, but also these, like, these, these, um, these characters with multiple layers. I think it, it's, it really is um, uh, 
in his wheelbarrow to 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 tackle a role like this. Um, so yeah, so some some fun series news um, that's going to be packaged by Annapurna. So we don't know necessarily which uh, what network it's going to be attached to, but um, it could go to any of the big bigger ones, uh, Amazon included. Oh, absolutely. It'll be interesting to see where it lands, but I think it's also just worth pointing out that, you know, over the past few years, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal has, as a producer, really attached himself to, to rising filmmakers. Um, he has Snowblind coming up with Gustav Mahler, who directed The Guilty. As a producer, uh, there's, he has two films coming. He has Good Joe Bell at TIFF. The Devil All the Time, the, the Antonio Campos film that's coming to Netflix. So uh, that's pretty cool in itself that he's, that he's recognized the talent in Bravo and, and is supporting it. Yeah, he's really attaching himself to true auteurs in the, uh, the, the larger American indie world, I guess. Um, I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm Editor-in-Chief and Site Owner for IonCinema.com and this is Kevin Jaggernaut, Contributing Writer for The Playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge.